To protect an island, you must obviously protect the sea. So five years ago, a marine reserve was created around the island. Sally Ann works for the reserve, and this morning she's taking to the water with Taz, who runs a diving club. Okay, we'll stack anyway. They work together to watch over the lagoon. Every year they dive in the same place to measure the changes in the fauna and flora. Apparently everything's going well. There are even some new arrivals. So there's an amazing mix of ecosystems here that just makes Lord Howell Marine Park so unique. So an abundance of fish and different types of coral and the mix of macroalgae. The uniqueness comes from the mix of the tropical and the temperate. So we get the East Australian current that comes down, brings warm water and tropical fish. Um, but then the cool currents bring, you know, like our more cooler, temperate water species. So we are still discovering new species, so that's quite exciting. And, you know, we have a large number of species that are only found here as well. The Marine Reserve has introduced sanctuaries, stretches of ocean where it's forbidden to fish or gather anything whatsoever. In other places you can fish, but the fish cannot be exported. Taz knows a few old fishermen who were very grudging over these drastic new rules. 